Hello everyone, genuinely interested in stocks but also might have a gambling addiction here, uh, bringing you the first of many videos on the TSX, the Toronto Stock Exchange. Uh, we're going to be talking about that today in this video and uh, for future videos, so be sure to hit that, uh, that like and subscribe button if you want to see more content about uh, Canadian investing. So here we're going to be talking about how to get started uh, investing as a Canadian. It's so important right now to have multiple sources of income and investing is a great way to get started on another source of income that is passive. You don't have to think too much about it. So Canadians have a great opportunity with Wealth Simple. It's a, it's a free app. You can download it. You can do it online and it's called uh, Wealth Simple Trade. I, I left the link in the description. Um, it's a referral link, and if you uh, click that link and deposit $100, uh, you get an extra $10 for free for trading. So it's a great bonus to start trading. And uh, today I'm going to be teaching you how to get started in Wealth Simple, and I'm going to be providing three Canadian stocks I believe are great investments for the future, and why I believe uh, they're great investments. So why should you trust this wannabe uh, Abercrombie and Fitch model? Uh, <laughs> well, okay, let me let me give you a little bit of my background. So uh, you know, I think I know what I'm talking about. I have about uh, seven years of trading. Um, I've been investing since I was about uh, 17 or 18. I especially got into uh, marijuana stocks as that bubble was growing, and so I had about ten thousand dollars saved up, and I put it into the uh, the weed sector and it ended up uh, working out in my favor and I've kind of been hooked ever since. And now I really wanna help out my friends who uh, don't really have that much education. So usually I, I love talking about it with them and educating them. So now I've transitioned into making YouTube videos to help you guys out, of course. And so, yeah, I think I have a uh, pretty good, um, you know, seven or eight years under my belt of trading. Uh, so I've been doing this generally through my uh, bank. There's so many different platforms you can trade on, um, RBC, TD, uh, BMO, and there's like Quest Trade. But I think overall, the best way to get started is through Wealth Simple. Uh, Wealth Simple here is just such a great option, and it's they make it so easy. So essentially, what you can do with Wealth Simple is that you're going to attach it to your bank account. You can link the two, and then deposit money into Wealth Simple. And then once you're inside that, you can choose with which stocks um, that you want to that you want to trade, right? So when you, whenever you buy a stock, you're buying a small piece of ownership of that company, and so you basically own a small fraction of the company. And when that company becomes worth, like uh, increases in value, your money in that company increases in value as well. And then you can sell your shares for that profit, and that's how we make profit within the stock market. So I've got three stocks here, I think, are pretty, uh, pretty safe and pretty well known in the Canadian community um, inside, the, inside the stock market, right inside the TMX, um, the Toronto market. So we're going to take a look at three different stocks here. First one up is uh, Shopify. Shopify is well known in the uh, Canadian stock world. It's like the number one performing uh, stock, as you can see from a five-year chart here. We go back, let's say, let's look at, uh, you know, 2016 Shopify. If you bought into Shopify in 2016, it's about uh, $43 per stock. And that goes all the way up to about $1,300. So a huge increase in that stock there. So Shopify is definitely one of the stocks that you want to uh, look into as it's got a huge market cap. Um, definitely one of those, uh, the safe stocks as it's, it's a well-performing company with good financials. So looking into Shopify a little bit more, uh, it's got a 52-week uh, high of 1,375 and a 52-week low of 1,323. So this basically means that it's uh, the, the, high, the high and the low, and right now we're sitting somewhere around the high range, but it's still, it's still a great time to invest, of course. You can always uh, leverage your investments, slowly put money in instead of putting it all in in one, one lump sum. And that's a great way to get um, better returns. Uh, next up, next stock in line is uh, Air Canada. Of course, Canada's number one airline. Uh, this is how Canadians travel internationally, of course. And as you can see, um, they've had kind of a bit of a rocky six months, right? Air travel has been down. So Air Canada used to be valued at like uh, high 50s, 52. And now we're down to about uh, 16. 
right? And so yeah, 52 week high of 16, 52 week low of uh, 15, almost 16. So it's been steady about 16 for um, the past six months. And uh, specifically, like once air travel gets back to normal, Air Canada should recover to these high numbers or maybe in the 30s. So it's a safe place to essentially double your money um, as long as air travel returns back to normal, of course. So next up, we've got uh, the Cineplex stock. Uh, the ticker is CGX. So if you search CGX on uh, Wealthsimple, you'll find that. It's currently trading at uh, $9.17. Um, previously, in the past, before, uh, you know, six months, a year ago, it was uh, trading at about uh, $33 here. So that's a pretty good number. Then all of a sudden, movie theaters closed. Right now, 52 week high, 938, 52 week low, 794. So essentially, uh, we're betting on that uh, Cineplex is going to stick around, right? Cineplex has been closed for the past six months. Once they open back up, uh, they're going to be worth a lot more, right? Once they open up, everyone's going to be going back to the movies. So it's a pretty safe investment. Uh, given that I think movies aren't going to be going away anytime soon, of course, with Netflix and everything, but uh, going to the movie theaters is still that uh, fun experience that everyone wants to do, right? All right, so there's a quick overview on how to use Wealth Simple, as well as three stocks I recommend uh, for starting out, right? If you want to start out and uh, have some safe gains over the next uh, six months to a year, I highly recommend starting with those three stocks. And please, uh, if you like this content, like and subscribe for more videos like this. I'll be putting out more stock recommendations. I'm a big fan of uh, penny stocks and riskier investments, of course. So I'll be covering those in the next video. Thank you. See you.